Hi, my name is Aaron W. Smith. I'm 40-something, and this is what I learned last week. What I learned last week. What I learned last week. This video is all about what I learned last week. Hey guys, thanks for watching. So um, I wanted to take apart a, uh, my laptop and I thought I could do a little series of what I learned last week. <laughs> I love seeing that. Um, anyway, so I'm in the process of taking apart my HP Envy laptop because it had a hard drive imminent failure. So yay. Um, I have an HP Envy X360. Got over at Best Buy. It's a great laptop, but the hard drives crashed on me, and it keeps crashing. And now it's it won't won't come back. So what I did in the past is it, I would reinstall Windows, and it work. I get about three or four months out of it, and then it would just crash again. Now I'm gonna have to replace the hard drive. So, um, yeah. So, anyways, so let me flip this around. I wish my phone would allow me to flip my camera, but it doesn't. So I'm gonna try to just um intuitively do this but here's here's my camera here so we're gonna go ahead and get this here let me see if you guys can see that can you guys can you see that so yeah anyways here you know i've got the oops sorry I got the hp 360 x360 yeah and now let me show you the back of it <clears throat> So as you see, we flip that over. I got a cool little green cover, which is pretty fun. But, um, excuse me. Um, so if you look here, I have, there's one screw, two screws, three screws. And then I have, I had one screw, two screw, three screw, four screws. Get you a bird's eye shot of here. Uh, let's see. That kind of work. Gosh, sorry guys. Three screws, one, two, three, four screws there. I took out all the screws. These are, these are Phillips here. I used the um, 002, I think it was the J002 Phillips here. Uh, where'd it go? Got a really cool kit. This is the tools you would I recommend. iFixit. Go to iFixit.com. They have really cool kits over there. Ah, uh, here we go. I use the J00 Phillips to you know, see the missing one there. J00. I use that to get the top four Phillips screws out. And then I used a T. Five, yep, T5 to get out those three bottom screws. Use this one right here, T5. Okay. And then I got my screws. You want to put your screws in a safe place. Um, here we go. Here's my three, my three um, T5s. And then I got a couple of my Phillips here. The other ones are still on the laptop. I had to peel off the back adhesive to get to it. So there's back adhesive on here. I peeled this strip off here. If you look closely, the adhesive stayed on there. So I definitely want to be careful. Try to keep that as sticky as possible. Um, you can buy adhesive tape on eBay. I'm all, I'll put a link in the description for that. So um, you guys, if you, if you do click on the link to order the stuff, it does help me out a little bit. So I would, cause I got my affiliate with eBay. So appreciate your support on that. You don't have to, I'm not, I'm not a beggar, but I'm just saying that uh, if you want to, that'd be really helpful. Anyways, here is the, uh, adhesive. now at the bottom part, I didn't have to take apart. I didn't have to take those screws off. So, um, guys, you don't have to do that. Okay. So run from my mistake. And then now the next step is to pry it off. So this is this is where I was at, and I was like, "Hey, let's make a video." Um, so here we go. We're gonna pry this off. I have a cool little spudger tool. 
I'm using. Let's see if I can mount this. Kind of set that right there. Come on, come on camera. Don't fail me now, high tech studio equipment. There we go. And uh, here we go. So I'm taking my little tool here, getting in here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's starting to come apart. Of course, be careful when you do this. You don't wanna, you know, break something. There's clips that hold it in place. So the idea is to figure out where the clips are and release those. Oh, there we go. So right back here, there's a clip. Okay, clip right there. And uh, yeah. And I clip right there. We've got that coming out, guys. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. What I learned last week. What I learned last week. So there's a clip right here, it looks like. So I'm kind of pushing on that. And it's coming loose. Great. Now we're gonna go on the other side and get those clips off. Someday these videos will be better, guys. I promise I'll get my editing down and all that fun stuff. So um, yeah, stay with me. I appreciate all you early pioneers to the to the channel. Um, so anyways, okay, so we're getting this clip off here. Going down this side. So I'm going to dig in there a little bit. Ooh, pop sound. Popping is a good sound. As long as it's not, you know have a shatter sound at the end of it. That's always scary. So I guess I was hoping this would come off faster so you could, you know, get her done. Oh, I'm, one of these screws might not be out all the way. So I'm gonna test that. I got a little screw here. We'll kind of loosen that up. It should be out. It looks like it is out. All my other screws are out of there. So I think I have a, something on the back hinge here. My last portion. Sorry guys, you guys are watching. I gotta respect you guys so you can see what the heck I'm doing. Looks like there's some kind of something holding it there. I'm gonna flip it upside down though before I take this off because you know, what there's components and the components fall out. Oh no, did it clip back down? Curse you, curse you tiny toilet. What reference is that? What movie is that from? Curse you, tiny toilet. I'll explain it in the description below. But if you can tell me what it is, guess what? I'll send you a prize. Yay. So I have a lot of fun, guys. I love going to thrift shops and finding cool little treasures. And I want to send those out to you guys. So watch my videos for Easter eggs. Um, and email me with the explanation of what that is also with like the video title so i can see it you know and understand it and i will give you a prize i have a, these cool little banksy pins right now way nice and i'm serious i'll ship it out to you guys i also have other cool things maybe if, this, if you're seeing this you know after the fact then um still let me know and i'll get you something um you know whatever i have so Anyways, look, look, guys, I got it off. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Okay, so since my hard drive is crashed, my goal is to take the hard drive out and uh, replace it. Now, if, I don't know what heck kind of hard drive this thing needs. So that's why I'm taking it apart right now so I can figure out what I need to get for it. And honestly, I'll probably take this over to Best Buy because I got to get this laptop working ASAP because I'm doing web development on here and like I'm not making money right now with it crashed. So yeah. Anyways, here is the here is the hard drive. So can you guys see that? Let me see if I can do a bird's eye view. There we go, hard drive. Looks like it's held on by a jawbone connector, I think is what they call these jaw connector. That's gonna flip up it looks like and this will slide out. 
So that'll be the next step is to pull that out. Let's see if I can uh, kind of show you guys what's going on here with my sweet camera equipment. Stand there. I gotta buy a tripod, seriously. That's my next my next purchase. Maybe, maybe I got those at Best Buy. Yeah, I'll get one of those today. So I'm trying to pop this up. Oh, cool, it popped right up, guys. See that? Can you see it? Oh man. World's worth, worst filming. This is obviously 10 minutes in and this is, yeah, hopefully this is entertaining to you. You know, obviously, yeah, anyways. Um, so I use my, my, uh, my little pry tool to pop that up. Try to not touch this stuff as much as possible. I'm gonna use my fingers here. I'm making sure I'm not touching any part of this logic board, any parts of the circuit board here because fingers have oil on them and oil is not the best. Um, also you don't, I don't want to discharge anything. It's best if you do this guys, make sure you're grounded. You know, you can use a grounding tool um, or be kind of risky like me and not use one. Of course, make sure your laptop shut off. You know, <laughs> that kind of goes without saying these things have some voltage in them. So bam, it could be uh, quite a shock. And then of course it would fry your laptop if something discharged on you very well could. But I got that taken off and looks like this is just held on by some adhesive. So I will probably work on this and get this off, but yeah. Thanks you guys for watching the whole thing. Thanks so much, I know 12 minutes into this. Um, but yeah, we're gonna take that out and I'll get that fixed. And uh, yeah, if you're at the end of this video, watch in the middle because you can get a prize. Yay. Thanks for watching guys. And um, let's see what's a good phrase for ending. Um, tell me what you learned this week.